Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Are you spying on me again? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Do you know what that means? If I say I'm on to you, that means I'm aware of what you're doing. You've been spying on me a few times recently, and now I've, I've figured it out. I'm on to you. Hey, welcome to another English vocabulary challenge. What am I doing? Do you know what I'm doing? What is this? Well, this is... Actually, I won't tell you. I'm not going to tell you yet. I want to make you guess. I want you to try your best, okay? Uh, I want you to describe this action in one sentence. Okay, I want you to post your sentence right down there in the comments right now before I tell you, okay? So I'm going to give you five seconds to pause the video and leave your comment down there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the answer is I'm wringing out the dish rag. I'm wringing out the dish rag. This here, this yellow thing, whatever, it doesn't need to be yellow, but whatever. It's like, you know, the thing you use to wash the dishes. That's called a, a dish rag or a dish cloth. You could call it a dish rag or a dish cloth. Okay, it's just any kind of a, 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 a cloth that you use to wash the dishes. The word rag means an old cloth, right? So, I mean, you know, you could make anything into a rag. Like if you have an old t-shirt, uh, you could, you know, cut that up and make some rags out of your old t-shirt. And you could use the rag, you know, to wash dishes if you want, okay? So that's what the word rag means. So this is a, a dish rag. Now this, uh, this is not a dish rag. This is a scrubby, a scrubby. Uh, or a scouring pad. Okay, the official name is scouring pad, but most people just call these scrubbies. Now, this side is a sponge. Okay, the yellow side here is a sponge, but this is a scrubby. Okay, um, now, after you finish washing the dishes, if you want to dry the dishes, then you need to use a tea towel. This is called a tea towel, okay? A tea towel. You use a tea towel to dry the dishes. Um, now, take a look at this. What is this? Do you know what this is called in English? We don't use this to wash dishes, right? You use this in the shower or if you take a bath or whatever. This is called a face cloth. A face cloth, okay? You might wash your face with a face cloth or wash your body. Actually, I don't use a face cloth. Do you use a face cloth? Let me know down there in the comments if, if you use a face cloth. <laughs> I don't use a face cloth. I just use my hands to, you know, shampoo my hair and to wash my body. And then I use a towel, a normal towel, not a tea towel. This isn't big enough to dry your body, right? This would get wet and it, it's just, it's, it's not suitable to dry off your body, but you can use this to dry the dishes. Okay, so that's some vocabulary, but let's talk a little bit more about this verb. I'm ringing out, ringing out, okay? This kind of twisting motion is, is called ringing, ringing out, okay, or, or just like, the word out means that the water is coming out of the cloth. Okay, so I'm wringing out the water. You can see, right? There's some drops of water coming out of the cloth. So the verb ring means to, to twist kind of violently, kind of hard. Okay, so I mean, take a, look at, take a look at this bottle. Okay, here's just a normal bottle. It could be a bottle of anything. There's a loud playing 
flying over my house. Can you hear it? Oh no, they found me. They found me. I better hide. I hope they don't see me here. Okay, so take a look at this bottle, right? It could be a bottle of water, a bottle of anything, right? So if I go like this, right, it's the same motion, but we don't use the word ring. We use the verb twist, okay? I'm twisting off the cap. This is called the cap, the bottle's cap, okay? So now I'm twisting it on. I'm twisting it on, now I'm twisting it off. Okay, so this kind of cap is a twist off cap, a twist off cap, okay? Like uh, in Canada, beer, beer bottles uh, are very often twist off, twist off. But if you go to other countries, you need to use a, a bottle opener, okay? Like a, a bottle opener to open a, a bottle of beer. But some, you know, beer in Canada are, are, are twist off, okay? So that's the verb, that's the verb twist. Um, now, imagine that this bottle is a bird. Okay, this bottle is a bird, and I want to kill the bird. So I'm going to ring off the bird's head. Ring off, right? It's the same motion, but we use the, the, the verb ring off. Not ring out, this is ring out because the water is coming out of the cloth. In this one, if this was a bird, I would be ringing off. These planes are so loud. I'm trying to make a nice video to teach you some vocabulary. All these planes are ruining my video. You better give me a like on this video to cheer me up. Can you hear that plane? It's so loud. Okay, so this is, uh, this. if it's a bottle, then we would say twist off. I'm twisting off the lid, the lid or the cap. You can use either one. But if this were a bird, then I would be ringing off the bird's head. Why? Because it's, a, it's more violent, right? You could say I'm twisting off the bird's head, but it's not as good because twist, the, 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 the verb twist is not violent enough, right? Like ring means to use a little bit of, a little bit of force, right? I'm ringing out the dish rag. I'm ringing off the bird's head. It's a very violent image. Um, but anyway, that is the answer. Did you get it right? Did you get it right down there in the comments? You know, a lot of people don't know, you know, verbs like this, like to ring out or to ring off. Hey, those are, those are phrasal verbs. And I recently published a book called 101 Advanced Phrasal Verbs. So if you want to, you know, improve your phrasal verbs, hey, go to my website, check out that book. The link to my website is right down there in the comments, but that's a, that's a pretty advanced word to ring. A lot of people don't know that. Now that verb, that phrasal verb is not in my book, uh, but I think the, the phrasal verbs that I do have in my book there are more common and more important probably than, than this one to ring, to ring out. But this is still important in a situation like, you know, if you're going to do dishes <laughs> and you want to speak English, well, you need to know this, right? I mean, how would you describe it? I'm, I'm curious to know how you guys described it down there in the comments, because if you don't know the verb ring, well, then you're just stuck. You're stuck. I mean, what other way? I'm, I'm, I'm drying. I'm drying the, no, that, that verb doesn't work. I don't know. There is only one choice here in this situation, and that is to ring out the, the dish rag here. So, there's another plane. Uh, it must be my sign that I should end this video. It's just crazy. All the planes flying right over my house. They must be trying to find me. So I'm going to run and hide before the, before the Thai government finds me here. All right. I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.